what it does for me is that I'm able to take my own experiences and I'm allowed to, I'm able to relay them out to other people. And then I see other people going through it and I think I've taken, I can take these people out of here and then they become more themselves. They become more productive. They get in better shape. Um, you know, they do better and they, they feel more aligned as well. It's like, then they find like realizations like, oh, I'm in a career I really don't like. <laughs> I want to move out. I want to do something I do like because they're more in tune with themselves. And that's really what I'm trying to teach people is to become in tune with themselves. What challenges do you encounter dealing with these heavy scrollers? Um, you know, we, I get a spectrum of people. So I get some people that are not the like the heaviest scrollers. Some people are very heavy scrollers. Um, so there's there's a lot of different spectrums of people. There's some people that just want to maximize and they're quite, you know, they're also challenging to work with, but exciting because they've got so many goals. And usually what I found with people like that is that they don't know where to put their energy. They want to do this. They want to do that. They want to do this. But really you need a streamlined vision. You need to work on like one main thing and really crush it. And when it comes to someone like a heavy scroller, you know, they, they are going to have a lot of narratives, a lot of things in their head. They're going to be overstimulated. It's like if you look at the sun for hours and you think you're going to see the, the rest of a beautiful room as you've looked into the sun, everything's going to look dull and rubbish. But if you, you know, give a bit of time and you look around the room and you're present, you're going to appreciate that beautiful room a lot more, right? <laughs> Because you're overstimulated, you can't see like the good things in your life. You can't see, you know, the opportunities because you're so overstimulated with dopamine. So the challenge is to wake people up, first of all, because some people don't think it's a problem. <laughs> and uh, the other challenge is that, um, you know, some people can get in real despair. Like, you know, I've seen people that I've worked with that are just, they're so down, right? They're so down and out and they're lost. 